Good morning to you all. Digging Norway back at the lake. Skipped the trashy entrance. Skipped the public area. Uh, no more clads in the shallow at least. And this is where the good stuff is believed to be. That's where my friend uh, found the 1878. This is where the old rich uh, people in the, this area came to have picnic under the shades of these trees. And they deliberately left their coins there so that we could come early, kind of tired, and dig them up again 130 years later. What a great concept. I'll get back to you once uh, I've found some, something worth mentioning. But today I'm gonna hit this place hard. I'm kind of uh, driven by the oldest and most rational uh, feeling of all real men. Revenge and uh, the need to prove that he is just as good as his friends. An underestimated motivation for most historical events. I'll get back to you. Okay, I have this hole, small one. Um, I'm actually hunting two targets at once. Uh, here I have something, 32 in this block. And uh, I've got something going on uh, in the mud there as well. The soil is um, like mud, uh, which is very good for preserving coins. Uh, and it's full of uh, glass and small bricks kind of um, mixed into it. So my strategy is to find an area where I get a lot of small iffy signals. Then I dig a rather huge hole and I go through the soil uh, with my coil and eliminate everything that's in there. Basically a lot of rubbish of course. But I believe that if I continue this strategy sooner or later it will pay off and I will find something funny. I'll go through this one and if it's good I'll get back to you. That's the way love goes. Another fine hole, uh, 20 by 20 and uh, full of old trash. Bricks, this is a piece of porcelain, might be uh, an old toilet. <laughs> um, Leading me to believe that this soil can be some kind of old landfill. Imagine 150 years ago they decided, oh, let's make a nice little lawn here, shall we? By the sea. And they dumped a lot of um, soil from somewhere. So maybe the coin from yesterday has traveled far. Or it could have been lost, of course. Because I, I keep finding these uh, bricks and I don't think there's been a house here. Then I would have found it on old pictures. So we'll continue to search through the, um, search through the area. I like this small little bottle. And I'll get back to you. Yes! I found a bear cap. That means I can have a bear later when I go through my finds after I've been to school. This is a crucial find for the whole mission. I have to find a bottle, uh, a beer bottle cap every time. Danish beer, cheap shit. That's not the beer I'm having uh, later. Anyway, the cap is in my pocket. It's been a rough ride so far. One hour, five, six holes. Uh, this gave a deep uh, signal, uh, but uh, it seems like I've hit rock bottom without finding anything. It gave a deep uh, brown uh, signal, exactly what we were looking for. Uh, we dug through the um, clay, uh, found some old uh, pottery and uh, a top of an uh, old tube. Uh, this clay has given me an idea. I've decided to sell my detector and I'm uh, taking up uh, pottery. Our next course is on uh, Saturday. And, uh, I think these Polish uh, toilet uh, painters will probably join me. Uh, they are swearing and shouting at each other. And uh, the dog walkers have uh, woke up, started to walk our uh, 
four-legged friends including a lot of heavy transport passing by all the time it's quiet now but every 20 seconds you have a big trailer coming through why can't you just uh, call in sick like the rest of the country whatever uh, I will continue this area I will not give up and ultimately I will prevail I hope they are paid very well because they haven't done jack shit but uh, I hope they are paid per swearing word because then they'll make a lot more than me and what's the story about all this trash when will people learn trash goes in there in the trash bins your coins goes in there in the ground but for a limited amount of time we also accept jewelry and banknotes but that's just before Christmas until then we'll continue the search we know that if we hold it out in the end we will find something I wonder if this is why they are called tabs pull tabs or maybe tab is called tab who came first tab or tab tab is out of the market in Norway and I think it's out in the market globally as well so tab lost but I've got one that's great had to call it today going back uh, home to uh, get ready for school have to study have one more exam it's been a terrible hunt, uh, a lot of trash, uh, combined with high expectations from this morning. I guess this illustrates uh, the nature of our hobby. <laughs> it goes from heaven to hell and back again. So this is not even worth publishing. I'm doing it though from two, uh, for two reasons. One, as a gift to my friend from yesterday. I know you're watching. And I love, uh, I know that you love to see me humiliate myself like this. <laughs> Although you maybe have held in a metal detector for like 20 minutes in your whole life. And you still manage to outdo my all my finds combined in one coin. So take this opportunity to, if you can get some utility from me embarrassing myself on the world wide web. Here you are. <sighs> That's the first reason. Second reason to all you potential detectives out there who by some crazy reason are watching this load of garbage and crap of videos of mine. Um, here you have it. Sometimes you just find junk and sometimes you find the greatest find of your life. And that's uh, what's fascinating with and frustrating with this hobby at the same time. It's a treasure hunt. You never know what's gonna happen. It's like scuba diving, looking for sharks, and you've heard them that you've heard that they are there you have high expectations you get into the water against the current and uh, no sharks same with this you get up early in the morning you have high expectations to find something you get there you do your best you dig and you come out with nothing at least you get sore legs and fresh air and you get outside and you get even get to be laughed at from polish toilet uh, painters uh, very effective. I, one of them had a cigarette, so it's not true that they didn't do anything. Don't get me wrong on this one. I'm all about mobilizing the uh, mobility of increasing mobility of employment in Europe, but uh, it was just kind of uh, kind of funny to have them hanging over me, watching and swearing and smoking for two hours, and then they left. So uh, I really hope they got paid well because it must have been a very boring day for them. Okay, I'm back home and I have to go to school. To all of you out there, happy hunting. I wish you all the best and we see you each other the next time. Bye bye.